And we're back with another episode of Let's Play Lost Odyssey. I'm your host, the RPG Guy. So when we left off, <clears throat> we were trying to learn skills for Kaim and for Seth. Um, and we've learned most everything, um, except for one of the equips on Seth. Um, pretty much Kaim's going to learn everything pretty, pretty soon here. And all she needs is search glasses, which really you only need one character with that for the time being. So I'm not that hurt it to do it. We've put the poise, the antidote brooch on uh, Jansen, Jan, uh, Jansen, because it's just really the best thing for him. So not really much reason to change that. So let's move on, because we got a boss fight coming. I've made the executive decision to show the random encounters for now, since the encounter rate is relatively low compared to other games that I've played on this channel. Um, so, yeah. As you can clearly see. And we're looking now. So, as we move on here, we look for little pillars of rocks to kick over. There should be two more. If missed, however, it's not a big deal. So, I would like what they have. Weather is the worst, you guys. The worst. Also conserve magic as much as possible, but there's just some enemy types you can't help but use it against. Like so. So we'll use wind. We don't know what he's doing. He's casting. He's not actually. Or he's casting and getting to do his attack the same turn. Ooh, whiff! We would have gotten through this unscathed if that attack didn't miss. But alas, so it did. Let's keep moving, shall we? Guess we're gonna keep heading up. Yeah, I can see a rock pile in the distance there. We'll know if we passed one or not. If it's a fight you want, you got it. More baddies. Get some. And I forget to pull the trigger because I was turning the volume down. Not that it matters anyways. We can't kill the Dicorn outright. I think yet, so has 42 health left, give or take, so Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are invincible, is that what you mean? And Seth learns crisis defense boost. Yay, now keep this in mind too. When dealing with skills, you have what you skills that are equipped, like so. Then you have enhancements, which means that they're active. They're active skills because you have the accessory equipped, so you also have the benefit of what's equipped on you. This is something that a lot of people easily can forget. So I always try to make a reference of that. So let's say somebody didn't have poison resistance. We could give them poison resistance while teaching it to them, right? Because they have it equipped as an accessory. So they still get the benefit of it even when it's equipped. And they don't. And for the immortal characters, they don't have to equip it now. Before we go too far, the boss does not like flame rings, so we're gonna make two of these. And I don't see a reason to make anything else, because obviously we're gonna do that, because now it adds a, f a fire elemental attack to their. Um, to their skills, to their it, it adds fire element to their attack. Um, let's set some skills though, should shall we? 
Let's do stand ready. We're going to need that. And guard heal helps. So what it, this does is whenever we defend, the front row defense bar will increase. And when we, de and when we defend, we also get healing. And we're going to do this for both of our frontline characters for what, just for what's coming up. Because I said so. Which also means we can do set can heal. Just to keep the HP full. And before we get there, of course. Never a break, right? But now we have fire elemental, as you can clearly see. You know what? No, he's going to attack. Save that MP. Get some! And there he goes. Please hit Kime. Aw. Oh, bastard. Very good. And Jensen levels, and that's fine. No, re no reason to change that. Oh, you know what? Pfft. Uh, the boss uses poison, so we want that as well. I was wondering why she was healing. Alright, let's move. Yeah, so that's the reason why Jensen has that the, the, the anti-poison brooch on him, because we don't want him to be poisoned. That would be devastating. The boss fights in this game are pretty rough. They can be, depending on how well you've prepared for them, actually. That should be stated. That's where we're headed. Whoa, what is that? The Grand Staff. Oh, that Grand Staff. That light Jensen's such an idiot. Energy. The staff must be leaking. I've seen that. I've seen that somewhere. Seen it? Where? What the hell? By the power of Grayskull? Hmm. I don't remember. Ooh, deja vu. Or maybe your memory's coming back. No, no, no. Maybe what you've forgotten you're remembering. What? Well, excuse me for helping. You are such a pain. Okay, fine. Look at the view. I'm going to go ahead and fix everything. You just talk amongst yourself. <laughs> you really seen this before? What do you mean by that? Just what I said. Do you feel like you've seen this before? What's with you? My heroin deal just went under. Just trying to be a friend. Don't look at me like that again. But I thought you... <sighs> Forget it. Hey, hey, hey. All right, come on, you two. I thought we were going to rush. Oh, 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 oh. What the heck is that? Well, that doesn't look user-friendly at all. Uh, 
But luckily, being a wind elemental, we have fire. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Um, <laughs> so first things first, he's going to do something that's usually not very popular. So let's go ahead and just prepare for that. Which is this. And that's why we do it, because it's a lot of damage. It would have been even more if we let him hit us. to heal ourselves pretty much but Jensen keep doing his thing big recovery. Jensen. I wasn't kidding. This battle's pretty rough. going after Jensen because of the guard level currently, if you're wondering. I think we beat him. So this boss is pretty rough. He hits really hard. Luckily, we hit really hard, too. The problem is, is who can keep up with what. And as you can see, we barely kept up with that. So we get 10 SP, a slot seed for our trouble. Which I think you can steal from it, too. But if you steal from an, an enemy, they're not going to drop the item as well. So you don't get multiples. Their slot seeds are finite in this game. Uh, we did it. How can you be so comfortable? I almost That's true. <laughs> I think it'd be an improvement if you got eaten a little. You'd talk less. <sighs> hurry up. I thought we were in a hurry.
But yeah, that first boss fight is pretty pretty rough because there's not much you can do. Even though we're leveled a bit on the higher side too, there's still not much we could have done about that fight. Which usually is, I find, to be interesting. Really quick, let's go ahead and bring some skills back in. We don't need these two anymore. Uh, black magic... Just for the moment. So we can get some healing going. Keeping Jensen's magic rather full. So we'll make a save, because that was a rough fight. Not gonna lie. And you might notice there's no tents or anything that we have in, on, uh, you know, on us. So that that's a thing. Now, if we wanted to, we could exit the game, reload, and then um, we would be okay, like fully healed. But you really don't need to. We don't really rely on magic from our frontliners anyway. The other thing we may want to consider doing before I forget is go back to the bruiser rings. Now, I guess if you're having a lot of trouble with that fight, another strategy is to just sit and defend the entire time with uh, Kaim and Seth. Just just do that the entire battle. You probably would be fine. And then letting Jensen just flame attack the entire fight. Throw And then popping healing items kind of as needed. I think you'd be fine if you did that, to be f in all fairness. Oh, I thought there was something there. Nothing there. Go up that little area here. And we get the novice earrings. These are really nice. Um, and really quick, we should change gear out. It allows the use of level one black and white magic at the same time, which is very nice. That means um, we really, and in all fairness, we don't need black magic level two on anybody. It's just there to give us black magic. So that would immediately free up a skill slot for both characters once they learn it. Hence why it's worth learning. I don't believe this is anything. Nope. there. Now we might start seeing some new enemy types. You know it's tough being so popular. Tough being popular. That coming from you Jensen is ridiculous. So as you can see new enemies. Fire and wind. That's why we took the fire off though. And he's in the back row so we got to go for this Sarbella first. And he's wind so we want to use fire. And as you can see, the Sorbella is fast. Fast enough to dodge and counter, by the way. Should have mentioned that. And now we've pissed off the owl. Should be able to melee kill everything at this point. Come on! Seth, you're killing me. 
kill me, girl. And I'm not going to be able to kill that. I don't have that much faith in Jensen for anything. Oh, and I fucked that up. It's almost dead. That's this is a rough battle just because Seth was letting us down. Damn. <laughs> Not a lot of SP either. So, hmm. Take what you will with that, right? Um, let's go ahead and head down and around here. And we get a delicious seed. Nothing there. So, don't worry about that. We want to go this way. Down, 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 down. Open says me. Because if you didn't know you could do that yet, then you would not be sure how to get this. Which is another awesomely delicious slot seed. Running, running, running. Battle, battle, battle. Man, this is getting old real quick. <laughs> Oh, this thing. Yeah. All earth magic. You can see very resistant. I should have actually had them team up. He hit me. Should be able to lower its defense really, really well here. All right. There we go. Probably should have started by attacking the main one, but I forget if you kill it, these things start fighting back. And do you want to get hit by ground once, or do you want to get hit by it three times? It looks like they're not getting turns anymore, so... I'm mildly confused. Probably should have just... Or am I thinking of later in the game? Or am I thinking of a different game? Eh, I don't know. No, I don't think so. But 4 SP's pretty good. XP's alright. And they dropped two healing medicines. So, again, not a complete loss. Who's hurting? You see, the enemies tend to really want to beat the crap out of Seth. For reasons I do not know. The AI in this game is n actually quite decent for the time period. It's still, actually, it is relatively decent. I think. Uh,
gemacht. Hm. We actually don't have magic strong against fire. We don't have water yet. So we'll just hit him with ground. Something neutral. Oh wow, he didn't actually kill it. Growl at this dick. Time learns black white magic and Seth learns status analysis thingy. All right, so as far as I'm concerned, skill wise, we don't need black magic level two on anybody. So let's go ahead and put black white on there. And we could put guard heal. Or. Could put status analysis for now. All right, and then let's equip Seth with the novice earrings. After I take them off of Numb Nuts, he'll get this. He'll get that. Hmm. Just keep moving here. I'm worried I'm missing something, but it's hard to tell. Let's go up here. And look at that. So we get aqua. So we finally get our water elemental spell, which is good. And that means we have all four elements, which is important. And then we will head down this way. Double check. I think I don't. I don't remember if there's something down this way or not. So we'll check regardless. Alright. Tack. Tack. Improved offensive defense. And he's got mine as well. Meaning if a character attacks him, it's like it, I think they get a like a free damage attack against him. Which can be bad. But I don't think it applies to magic. So he's down. And we can just take the rest of these guys out of our liberty. We'll find out if I was right or wrong about what I said earlier. Why burn magic when we can just do melee attacks, right? Well, nothing on their on their agenda to hit us with. I look at this as free XP SP as far as I'm concerned. Is this four SP, which is pretty good? You only cost five MP. Yeah, I know the three of them can't do it. Seth isn't strong enough to do enough damage on her own. <clears throat> now, if we had wind rings on, this would do more damage. But I'm too lazy to make wind rings right now. And 
you don't want them on because there's enemies that are wind elemental. So you'd be helping them or making it harder to kill them. So this is just a better deal. As time consuming as it kind of is. And boom goes the dynamite. Was there anything down here is the question. A whole lot of nothing. All right, let's move. Running, 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 running. All right. And we'll keep moving. We're almost out of here. Almost. Let's take him now. This battle again. Don't these guys ever learn? Try a little different strategy, see if this moves things along a little faster. Killing me, Jensen. Oh, Jensen, you had one job. He couldn't even do that job. Well, it's not his fault. These guys have really high defense anyway, so can't get too mad at him. But I can get mad at Kime for whipping. And there it is. I think all the characters have learned every accessory. Don't worry, mortal characters don't have to learn accessories. But we will check just to make sure. Yep. Somebody can steal when I need them to. Let's move. Okay, so, wow. Finally, we get to move on to Grand Staff Construction Base Southeast. So, it's kind of like a town. Kind of. It'll make more sense when we go, once we do what we need to do. Do, 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 do. Grand Staff Construction Base. Sweet. Hey, how do you like the new boss? Hey, how do you like the new boss? Who are you? No one's contacted you. We're investigators sent by the council. I'm Seth. He's 
time. <laughs> So it's possible that maybe the Grand Staff caused the meteor. Hmm. Somebody was playing with nukes. All right. Let's go rest because we need it. A delicious healing. Again, if you want an easier time, save your game, exit the game, and then come back. And you'd be full health. I'm just doing it to show that it can be done. And the game wasn't designed with that in mind. And we get our first, I think our first level 2 spell. No, well, no, our second level 2 spell. Poison. We'll double check, but it's something like that. So every time we rest... We have an option to read stories again. We're not going to read stories. That's why we read them now. I'd rather not read a whole bunch of them back to back unless we get them back to back, which to me makes sense. But don't worry about that for now. Uh, so we're all healed up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Sleep and poison and prism. Yeah, our level two black magic. Okay. So we have, we have, th we have three spells. Okay, we can't do anything about this yet. Go back, go back. Can't do anything about that yet. We will mess with that later. So let's go up this way. Sorry, no one is allowed past here. Unauthorized personnel. Oh, authorized personnel only. Let's grab this. So as you can see, he's wandering around. Dupes. Try again here. What we gotta do is wait for him to kind of move and not be looking. Wait. Grab it, asshole. Okay. Then we gotta go back over here. Damn it. Screwed that up. We don't need to worry about him anymore anyway. It's really just this guy.
Oh, I guess we do have to move him. God damn it. Damn it. So I gotta get the timing right. Wait till he's kinda in the corner. There we go. And we get a delicious mana herb. And get the turn tail shoes, which, just to take a look at them, enables you to always flee from battle. It's a good skill to have for very specific things. And we get a delicious seed. And we can now create a shortcut. Let's go back this way. All right, let's take a look. So we can make, or rather buy new stuff. So we got all, so any magic you might've missed on the road you can buy right now. That might be an issue later. Um, we have guard heal. We have the antidote brooch. We have that. We have all of this, so we don't need any of that. So really what we just need are these two items here. Um, as far as this goes... I think we're good on everything else for the time being. Uh, let's go ahead and also... Because this will be relevant for something in a little bit here. Trust me on this. I swear. Guarantees we have enough, and we'll have whatever we have left over. And we're not hurting for money right now, so trust me. Grab some of that. And we're good. We're kind of good on everything right now. Yeah, we'll, we'll hold off on buying anything else. So, now you might wonder why did I buy all those items when we had a whole bunch with us. Like I said, we want to keep the number of items that we have available to us re re relatively high. And what it also allows us to do is we can make all of the elemental rings. Now, the reason I didn't want to... Why I bought more is because, number one, we didn't have enough for some of this anyway, and we're going to need to do more of this in the future. Just going to say. Um, and we may need to make rings in order to put... to make better rings later. 
is as you can see, it costs rings. And you can see it costs two rings to... No, it costs one ring and we have two. But it'll make more sense as we go on. Trust me. It doesn't seem that relevant right now, but it will. Um, and as you can see, we would need more sticky tape. But we can make poison rings. So we're a small amount of MP. That's nice. Uh, raises critical. Bruiser ring. Damage up. We, don't, we can't make the ultra bruiser yet. Um... Well, I like the attack damage. Osmosis ring. Make that. We don't have the means to do that yet. Uh, and we'll make one poison ring. And for Jensen, that's obviously going to be very straightforward. He's going to get the uh, osmosis ring. Anytime he attacks, he... Absorbs a small amount of MP. Which, for him, would be nice. Um, okay. So that we wanted to make sure we did all of that stuff. Because new... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I forgot to equip the new weaponry, I believe. I don't think it equips itself. Let's take a look. Yeah, it does not. And it gives... Ra That's one of the reasons why you would buy that rod for uh, him. And look at that. They even get rid of the boxes once you move them. Because they know how ridiculous it is to make you do it. To make you... To leave it there, I guess. Really quick. Do we have enough? Yeah, we do. Alright, so let's go ahead and head up this way. And you're going to learn what those seeds do, my friends. All those amazing, awesome seeds we've been collecting that seemed pointless. You know you saw them. You don't have to lie. He's so cute. It's a pit pot. So let's give him seeds. We give him all 20 of our seeds. Do we get the Adamantus Sword and the Adamantus Ring? Which are up, is an upgrade for Kaim, the sword. And the ring. Which water damage bio killer and absorbs a small amount of MP from an enemy. Yeah, I probably I guess I probably should have waited, but whatever. It kind of outdoes the osmosis ring. But it's good against organic, inflicts significant damage on organic enemies. Um it's actually pretty good. We're gonna put this on him on him for now. The water enemies will complicate things because we're about to run into a bunch of them, so actually. Let's take it off for now. Now that I think about it, it's probably not in our best interest to have that on right now. All right. So we've done that. Deep. Well, you know what, though? While we're also here, I believe I missed something. But let's give it some medicine. And we get a healing herb, which is better than the healing item, the regular healing medicine. So for every four we get, he'll give us a better item. So we can do this to our heart's content. 100 MP is gar 100 HP is to you. You guys should know is garbage by this point of the game. And since it is garbage, there's no reason not to give it to him and swap him out for better stuff. Uh, we have enough to do a little bit more. So healing herb, strong medicine that restores HP, medicine that slightly restores. So yeah, it loses its purpose. So that just makes more sense to for free trade them, um, trade the trade them um, to get the healing herb. Now you may also wonder about M the uh, mana herbs. We can do that with this as well. See, <laughs> two mana herbs will get us. Um, a mana capsule, which, and so there's only two, so we may as well, oops, I don't have any seeds to give him. So we may as well do this too.
totally exploit the hell out of this. So we have only one left. Because we haven't really used any mana herbs recently. And like I said, they're not that useful. The mana herbs. Maybe out of battle. We don't have enough. Okay. Alright, so... We've done pretty much everything there is to do. And let's see how we're doing. So, we ended up getting... Five healing herbs and six mana capsules. So that's actually a pretty good deal. And if you feel the urge to buy more healing medicine and mana herbs, you can. I don't think we're going to need them. So let's make a save. Because saving is your friend. So yeah, we, we're geared up pretty well. We, we're pretty well set in everything we need to do. Uh, everybody, Kime's got his new gear equipped, which was a huge upgrade for him at 180 damage. Seth got her upgrade as well. We've made one of every elemental ring for our offensive fighters. We also have the Adamantus ring, which really is a replacement of an aqua ring, but we'll still have uses for it, so don't, don't write that off. And we had enough extra money to get the Saint Rod for uh, Jensen. So that should cover everybody for what's coming up. Um, again, like I said, if you're, you feel you need more healing, there's obviously we can go back and buy more and whatnot. But right now we're not going to be hurting too hard for anything coming up. So And we're pretty well set. Now what we do want to keep in mind is we want to make sure Jensen levels up a little bit more. Because he's going to start getting access to more spells soon. Um, which means that's new stuff that um, the immortals will be able to learn from him. So that's going to be relevant too. So anyway, this is a good place for us to stop for right now. So I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out my Twitch channel at twitchtv.com slash Studios for more live gaming action. You can also check out our tabletop show called The Chairman of the Board Show, as well as check out the Hobo Headcrab Blind Plays, the, the tabletop shows on Tuesdays at 7.30 Pacific Standard Time, and the uh, blind play show that Hobo Headcrab and I do is on Thursdays most of most weeks. And once in a while, we have to do it on a Friday because of my schedule. So or we have to skip it. So it's, it's it will, you know, it, when you get to see the shows or you watch them in the VODs, we give you a rough idea about when the next episode of that blind play show is going to be. And remember, too, there are videos on demand so you could watch me play a lot of these games live because i usually do it for the twitch viewers before i actually do it here um to some degree so anyway thanks for stopping by we'll see you guys next time